What's up guys, Lawrence Aponte here. And I'm shooting this little quick video for you um, to show you guys a unique way that I like to find niches and new products to sell and to, and to dive into. Um, I'm always looking for like a creative and different way, like a different edge that I can have over, you know, anybody or just like an, an advancement. I'm always looking for the next, the next step, you know, um, so here's one way that I've been doing, and it's actually using the App Store, believe it or not. So I like to go to the Shopify App Store, okay? And what I like to do is once I come to the App Store, the beginning here, I just like to come to where it says Price All, and then just click on All right there. And what that does is it pulls up all of these, um, all of the apps. So actually what we'll do, we'll sort it by Popular. Okay, so it'll pull them all up and it'll just sort of my popular. And what I like to do is I like to go through the um, the app store page by page looking for two things. One, it, it has to be expensive. I want to, I want expensive apps. Okay, when I mean expensive, I want them to cost 80 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month. 200 bucks a month some apps that are extremely expensive i don't want no free apps i don't want anything like that like this one here can be up to 59 i don't want that i want expensive apps that's the number one criteria we we're looking for once we find an expensive app we want to see that it has some reviews on it and i'll show you why in a second so here's one that's a hundred dollars a month we'll just open this in the new tab Go to another page as well. Okay, we'll just keep on looking. I'm just looking for some expensive apps. That's all. Sometimes it takes some time because this gets all sort of different, and people are always downloading new things and whatnot. But it, you know, just bear with me. We're just looking for some expensive apps. Haven't seen anything yet, other than that one. Let's keep on. Uh, The reason why we're doing this, we'll find one. We'll find one. It, it, it'll be all in, in, in good in good measure, I promise. So we're just kind of looking here for expensive apps. Page six. Right here, look at this one. From $199 a month with 276 reviews. Go ahead and in that one in the new tab as well I like to get a few you know uh, just in case Let's see continue this one says from two hundred and forty nine dollars a month we'll do that one as well let's just find I don't know one or two more go to one or two more pages whether we find one or not nothing there. Mm -hmm. That one's $85 a month, but because we just found one that was 200, that's actually low now. So you just gotta try to find one. This one's $100 a month. Let's see what else they got. This will be the last page. Okay. Okay, so we'll just we'll just go with these three. Okay, so this one here was $100 a month. This one here is $200 a month. Okay, and this one here is two fifty a month. So let's see what this one is. Um, it's all about inventory and stuff. So what I like to do is go down and I like to look at the reviews, right? And because this one here is two hundred and fifty dollars a month, that means you're spending money on this app, right? There's it's it, it costs a good chunk of money. Like Shopify with twenty nine dollars a month, you can run you know a store. So being that they're paying $200 a month, that means that their store is probably making some money. The reviews are kind of, you know, pretty recent, June 7th, June 5th, May 23rd. So what I like to do is open these stores up in new link, in new tabs, and then I see what they're selling exactly, you know, that they're able to pay $250 a month for this one app, okay? And this is exactly, you know, what I like to do when finding new niches or new products so here this bicycle 
store here. They're paying $250 a month for that app. So I like to look at it and see, you know, obviously they can afford it, you know, and, and see because they, they're, you know, like a high ticket bike. But then once you um, see that, I mean, I, I couldn't, you know, we couldn't sell anything like this, at least I couldn't. So, I mean, I would just move on to the next one and see. And here's some like protect the bed pillow thing. You know, um, I, I couldn't find anything they can sell like that, obviously. But nonetheless, you, you find different niches and see exactly what's going on, what's working for them. This thing here is sold out, you know. Um, and you can even sort it here by best selling. Okay, we'll grab that string here. And we could just, we'll save that for the next listing. Let's see. So here we go. Some type of fishing stuff. So they're paying $250 a month for that app. You know, they're working. So we can actually just click here and then paste that little string and then sort their items by best selling as well and see, you know, this is their best selling one. So maybe I can source this somewhere and, you know, sell it as well. Um, here's another one, you know, some army one. So stuff like this, you could probably source. No doubt about it. So I would just, you know, click here, control V, and see exactly, you know, what their best selling ones. These paracords seem to be their best seller, these strings. So, I mean, this is just one way that I like to, like, find um, niches and products um, to see. So this one here is like, are you 18 or over? So this is whiskey. Obviously, you know, we won't be selling anything like that on Facebook. At least I won't. I can't, I, I don't. Um, my primary traffic is Facebook, so I would just exit there and then look supplements. So this is like some workout stuff. If you was in the fitness niche, maybe you could reverse target it. See how they're paying two hundred and fifty dollars a month. So that's a bestseller protein right there, and so forth. Um, so that yeah, so that's one plugin that they use. So I mean, I like to do that. I I just constantly go through the app store and you know literally go page by page looking for expensive apps, um, and just kind of reverse engineering. So I I hope this um, short video helped you guys out, and uh, stay tuned for the next one, and I'll show you guys another way I use this app store. Till next time, peace.